Plastic Minerals. Lucy Graham from Amnesty International. Spotify has announced it's adding non-music content to its app. The new offerings include news bulletins from National Public Radio, the BBC and others as well, as uh, longer audio and uh, video podcasts and clips. Spotify has more than 60 million regular users across 58 countries and it says about 20% of them pay for its premium ad-free subscription services. The competition, though, is hotting up. YouTube's developing its own paid subscription service. Apple is expected to launch its own streaming platform next month. Now, with me is Matthew Knight, who's head of strategic innovation at global media agency Carrot. Um, just basically, how well is Spotify doing? Because it's doing... a very competitive, as we've just seen, it's a very competitive market. Absolutely. I mean, they're, they're doing remarkably well. They've had year-on-year -year growth of over 100%. And, uh, I think really they've, they've reached a maturity in their business where they need to start developing their offering. As you mentioned, Apple are expected to announce their Beats platform, which will potentially have video on there, as well, that's a streaming service, and Tidal has been in the news recently. So it's really about developing what they are offering to their users. Is this what users want? I believe so. I think the m most interesting thing is that they have huge amounts of data. I mean, Daniel Eck mentioned today that they've served 25 billion hours of content. So they know a lot of things about a lot of people that use their services. And therefore, they can start to tailor what sort of content they might want to provide to their users and see how people are really engaging. Video is obviously a new one. They know a lot about audio. We've seen their personalised playlists, but it's a new area for it's them. It's going to cost them, though, isn't it? Because they've got to buy all this content. Absolutely, yes. There's, there's uh, no free content, even though we, we find it every day on Google. They'll be buying that and licensing it from many content partners. But they'll be looking to recoup those costs through uh, additional advertising revenue. And also, I think, the opportunities for brands to have placement in that content directly to those paid subscribers. Well, how, how does it, but surely if I pay to be on there, I don't want the ads coming in. Well, I think there are smarter ways of, of brands putting advertising-funded content in, into the hands of consumers now. So you may be paying not to get the advertising, but it'd be sneaking in anyway. Right? Well, possibly. I mean, you, Well, you, they tell you that, do uh, they? I, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge that many media owners are facing, but you look at soap operas of decades ago and they were funded by the, the soap companies like Procter & Gamble. So it's, it's actually increasing in its popularity, the idea of native content where brands are funding content. But ultimately, it has to be something that people want. Uh, it can't be an advertising message. It has to be valuable to consumers. So no brand's going to do something do that makes people switch What off. is best for them, to have more subscriptions or more advertising? I'm obviously want both, but I mean, you know, how, what is, what's, what's the way they would like to go? What's their direction? What are they trying to make? make people do? Uh, the prevailing thought is the less you can rely on advertising dollars, the better. Um, so ultimately, they want to be driving subscriptions. And I think content, we talked about video, we talked about podcasting, we talked about this personalised content, which is served to you based upon it, it, the taste. That I suppose like, yeah, what you're saying also is if they get the subscriptions, then as you say, they could sneak in the advertising behind and get double, a double whammy. And people will want to stay in their ecosystem. So he already mentioned that they might be thinking about original content and original music. So I think there's more to see from the business. Okay. Matthew Knight, thanks very much indeed for that. Matthew Knight's from Carrot. Uh, let's have a quick look at the uh, markets. There we go. US markets down really hard.